As a Christian, do you have a personal daily quiet time where you listen to God, you speak to Him, you pray, you read His Word, you meditate on His Word? That is something that I've wanted to establish all my life and at different times of my life I have been able to do that. Other times I find myself being forgetful and not doing that, just that. The man who introduced the concept of the quiet time to me was a wonderful Christian pastor called Frank Hunting, who I regard as my greatest Christian mentor. You'll find on my blogs and on my YouTube channel uh, lots of sermons and messages by him. You might even find um, some odd quotes from some of his little booklets that he wrote, including this one here called speaking personally. So today I thought I might just try and start a little bit of a series on reading from some of these booklets uh, that Frank produced and uh, they're not, they've not been mass produced so I'm gradually trying to uh, put one of these into a, a more palatable form that I can uh, distribute by PDF. I'll just read from his uh, preamble to his introduction to this little booklet Committed Christians live in two worlds. They live in the world all round us. This is often a very mundane world, made up of most ordinary things and people. In this world of the commonplace, we are to recognise and behold God. Indeed, in every cloud, every flower, every sunrise, and if we are most fortunate, every baby that smiles, we may behold the glory of God but we may need to work at it. In the days of his flesh, men and women met Jesus in many places and different times. By using God's wonderful gift of imagination, Jesus can speak to us as he did to the woman at the well, or we may walk with him on the Emmaus Road. In our second world, our inner world, when we are alone with Jesus, we may commune with him and he speaks to us. In these few pages I have recorded some of the times when to me Jesus seemed to be speaking personally. This little um, writing is called Two Words. Lord Jesus, as I write those two words, I know I am before you in your presence. I am before you all that you are. I cannot take it in. Nevertheless, it is true. It is important that I realize whom you are. It is even more important that I come to you. For in coming to you, I come to all you are, whether I can grasp whom you are or not. This next one is called This Day. Not my surrender of yesterday or of yesteryear to God, but today, this day. That's from Joshua 24, 15. 